All right, we're gonna work this backwards. This is the uh, 2011 Chevy. And uh, gonna pressure test it. So we're going to 20 PSI. This is the cap. It's the cap that goes on here. It's 20 PSI. So we're gonna run this up to 20 PSI. So I pumped this up to 20 PSI uh, with the pressure tester I got from AutoZone. Uh, put it on a credit card and you get your money back when you're done. It ended up being like $117 or something like that. So. Um, then we'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and, and release this and take it off now because I already pressure tested it. Um, checked my leak over here, my uh, coolant lines. My thermostat was leaking, thermostat housing. So I'm gonna go ahead and release my pressure here. This is this is sealed. This is released. Um, doesn't seem to be releasing. I'll just move it a little bit. Pressure released. Pressure's gone all the way down to zero. No more pressure in it. Pressure's down to zero. I'll take this off. And I'll put that right back where it came from in the auto zone case here yeah i don't have a I don't have a camera operator so that goes back in the uh, case from auto zone i also i got this adapter this is a um, ford adapter here's the gm chevy adapter and take this off And uh, what I had to do here to make this work is here is a, a vent tube right here and it leaks out this hole right there. So when I pump it up, all my pressure was escaping. So what I had to do was get this O-ring seal that comes with Came with my AutoZone kit. I put it in here to cover up that hole. And then when I put this on, I put this on, it still leaked. It still leaked. So in order to make it stay, I had to use another spacer. I ended up using a piece of a drive shaft um, that I had cut off. Uh, you need to come up with some kind of spacer, a rubber spacer or something. But I put that on there to seal that. And then that's going to seal, that's going to push that seal down and close my vent. And then my that seal is going to seal against this seal up here. And that closes off. That closed off my vent. And that's kind of the trick to making this work. So what they give you here, when you hook this up to here, without this, without this, as soon as you put pressure in that, it's going to go right out through that vent. So you need to find some way to put a plug in that hole. That hole has to be plugged. I don't know about flashlight. Okay. Anyway, that hole is going to have to be plugged somehow. Make a little plug and put it in there. Whatever you got to do, that, oh, that hole has to be plugged. And uh, so this will go back in my kit.
kit there. And um, that's it. Put your cap back on when you're done. Oh, fill it up. I'm empty. Okay, fill it back up. Put your cap back on. Make sure you tighten it down. Keep safe. Have a good day. God bless you.